Hi, my name is Don Hartman, and I'm a senior technical architect in charge of Elastic Stack Integrations at TSG and Alfresco Company. This short video will cover how existing Alfresco customers can do more with Alfresco by integrating with the Elastic Stack and Open Content Management Suite. First, a little about me. I've been working at TSG, now an Alfresco Company, for nine years. I'm currently a senior technical architect and the lead for Elastic Stack Integrations within the company. I've had a wide range of experience in my time in enterprise content management, but in recent years have focused on insurance clients and large migrations. There are a few different ways we've integrated with Elasticsearch on Alfresco. On-demand external indices are great for organizations with high volumes of documents. It allows administrators to create one-to-many indices that are managed external to Alfresco, but keeping Solar intact as a fallback. As I'll show later, these indices are created by object type, which allows for clear separation by business group. Elasticsearch performance reporting captures and displays statistics for user stories that are configured in Open Content Management Suite. Lastly, the Elastic APM is an easy open source application monitoring tool for administrators to look at low level data and proactively monitor the health of the Alfresco repository. Now we can head over to the browser for some quick demos. First, I'm going to head over to Kibana to show that we have a fresh cluster. Now, heading over to OCMS Admin, where you can choose an object type to create an index for. I'll choose Claim Document for our insurance track. I just select the checkbox to index this, and then go down and save this configuration. Now, when we reload in Kibana, we can see that our index has been created. Now we can go to a claim folder and upload a document. I'm going to speed through this a little bit, but if you want more information on how uploads work in OCMS, please visit our website and go to the Open Content Case page. Now that our document has been uploaded, we can go back to Gabbana and see that the document count has increased. And again, hopping back into OCMS, we can look at the view all documents action and see that our document is now returned. Another way to search for documents in OCMS is heading over to the search page, selecting claim document, and then searching for our document. Now let's take a look at performance reporting. Heading back into Gabbana, we can look at our view all documents dashboard that we have created. Here we can actually see the launch of the view all documents action that we just performed. By default, this table grabs things such as the browser, the user that launched, some metadata on the folder, the document count, and the duration that it took to launch the action. Our clients have found this really helpful for identifying trends about their users and data over time. Now we can also head over to an Alfresco Enterprise Viewer dashboard. This shows us some recent views of documents and how long it took to load those documents. This graph gives us a distribution of how long each launch of the document took and is very helpful for identifying different network bottlenecks. Last, let's take a look at the Elastic APM. By clicking on the APM tag, we can see some environments that we already have set up. This was very simple to set up by installing the APM server on our Elastic stack and then setting up a Java agent for Alfresco. Here we can see the list of REST calls that are made within Open Content Web Services for Alfresco. Drilling into OC query, we can see the distributions of how long calls have taken over time. Down below, we can see more detailed information for administrators, such as request information and response information, as well as we can even dig into some of the internal Alfresco queries that are run. 
That's all for this short video. Please make sure to follow our blog for additional upcoming videos on our solutions and interesting use cases. For more information, please visit our website at tsgrp.com.